Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kari Nari and on here we talk about various different fragrances that are in my collection or I bring to your attention some fragrances that I think you should be interested in. Uh, today's topic is going to be on Hez Perfume. If you have not heard of this line, this will be your video to come back to. So make sure you save, like, and share this video, right? So this is going to be about the Hez line. I have a total of 10 from the line, and there's a new one that just came out. So it'd be approximately 11, but I have 10. We're gonna talk about first, and then we'll talk about the new one. If you have never heard of me before, this is your first time ever coming across my page, well, welcome. My name is Claudia Nari, and I would love for you to subscribe or even look at some of my, my playlists to see if this is a, a location that you would like to follow, a page that is uh, gravitating to your likes. I really hope that it does, so I hope that you stay tuned. Uh, for all of my fellow subscribers who come back each and every time to watch my video, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit the notification button. You'll never miss a video that I am posting. So we're going to talk about Hez Perfumes today. And if that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. Okay, so let's jump into it. I do not have them in any particular order. Uh, what I'll do is I'll make sure that I do post the notes on the side of me, uh, but I will tell you the ones, uh, the standout notes that I have, right, when I smell it. So, no particular order, just grabbing them as I see them. I hope you enjoy this. So, the first one we're going to talk about is going to be Banana Banji. Banana Banji. It's just that. It's a gorgeous, God, a gorgeous banana note. This is banana, lemon, cinnamon, brown sugar, and caramel and chocolate to me. It reminds me of a, like a banana, like a banana bread, right? So if you like banana bread, and I'm, I'm just taking out uh, some cards for me to spray it on. But if you like banana bread, then you're going to love this, right? So I know the first thing you're thinking is, why would I want to smell like food? Well, there are people who enjoy that. I happen to be one of them. So this, oh God, this is so good. It's like a ripe banana note with lemon, like the lim lemon zest on top of the banana uh, bread. The banana bread is made out of cinnamon, brown sugar, and then they took in a layered it with some caramel on top and then for a surprise they put a little chocolate chip that is a banana banshee this is so oh this is so good i can smell this all day but we have more to get through so i cannot do that right so my next one is one that i feel worked beautifully on my on my husband like I thought it was amazing on him and this one here is called blue dog blue dog is one uh the reason why I think it works great on him is because blue dog had this almost like uh herbalness to it right so there's gonna be oh, God, that lavender is good. <laughs> it is rosemary, pink pepper, ginger, lavender, sandalwood, and incense. And on male chemistry, blue dog, blue dog just does amazing work. It's so cozy. It's so come hug me type fragrance. Like I feel like I just want to lay in his chest when he's wearing this, right? Oh, this is the go-to for date night. So if I can't think of any other fragrance that I want him to wear, then I take out Blue Dog. And I say, okay, baby, spray this one. 
I really like that. The rosemary in it is not herbal like an Italian spice type rosemary. No, this is like a rosemary that's like fresh out your garden and you and you sm and you smash it up and you get that like r rosemary note on your fingertips and the pink pepper and that ginger in it. But mostly I get the lavender. I mostly get that lavender. I like I love Blue Dog on him. Now there's a couple of them I really like on him, but Blue Dog is my go-to if I if, if I just want a fragrance for him to wear. Now this one here is how it all got started. So if you have not gotten into his perfume, you probably hear a lot of people and you probably can see it all through YouTube. Folks that are talking about bourbon. Bourbon Street, oh, it has had a makeover, right? It started off in this very small container, not a small container, but it was like kind of boxy, right? So this is the new packaging for it. Bourbon is like a bourbon, like, like being on Bourbon Street. Mine is all of the weirdness. <laughs> and if you've been from New Orleans, you would truly understand that statement. This is like a brandy liqueur with some apple. Like almost like apple brandy is in this, right? So that's the note. And then you get cinnamon, you get tobacco, you get uh, some tonka bean note that kind of give it a bit of sweetness. You know what this is to me? This is like an old fashioned. If you've had an old fashioned, which is a drink, that's this. That is old fashioned in a bottle. That is what Bourbon Street is. Now this one here is one of the newer ones that he has most recently came out with. And I think it's because we talk so much about wanting to have one that was chocolate, like really heavy chocolate based. And he did it. He brought out one. This one is called Brownie Point. Brownie Point. This is like a Valentine's Day scent. It's like you've done everything great all year long. You bought them birthday gifts. You've done the Christmas thing. So you put all your brownie points in so that your Valentine's Day would be amazing. <laughs> that is this. Strawberry, just envision, strawberry cream, chocolate brownies, chocolate syrup with a uh, cognac backdrop to it, and cacao. Like a powdery chocolate. Mm. You know what I think, honestly, and I know that I've done this one before, and I said I wasn't going to do layers, but I'm going to have to give y'all a bonus. I take chocolate brownie and layer it with banana banshee banana bread banshee i'm telling y'all this it don't even make no sense how good this smells this is so edible if you're looking to be edible banana bread banshee and brownie points put them together i just couldn't i couldn't bypass that i had to tell y'all and i said i wasn't going to do any layers in this video but i had to i had to give y'all that one so that was a bonus brownie points if you're looking for chocolate brownie points now this one here reminded me so much of home oh god this one reminded me so much of home this is called cafe beignet cafe beignet is cafe du monde in a bottle it's cafe du monde in a bottle that's what it is it is the essence of new orleans it's down it's in the french quarters it's the powder sugar inside the bag that you have to you know it's like the donut but they put it like in a bag and you and you shake it that's like the, the fun part of you shaking you got your community coffee cafe du monde he took cafe du monde the idea of cafe du monde and put it in a bottle that is cafe beignet Cafe Beignet is coffee, it is cinnamon, it's brown sugar, it's that iris that gives you that powdery note, it's vanilla, and it's cacao. It is the creaminess of the coffee that you would get from Community Coffee and the powdery goodness of the brown sugar mixed in that dough and the powdered sugar with a touch of cinnamon. Cafe Dumont.
That's what this is. This is beignets. Beignets in a bottle. So even if the idea of that is too much for you to wear, if you get homesick for New Orleans like I do, and like say you're a fellow person from Louisiana, or just you visited, you've been there for Essence, Jazz Fest or something, right? And you just want to just get the idea of New Orleans. Cafe, beignet. Spray it around. Spray it around your house. It's going to bring you right back. Cafe du Monde. That's what this isn't about. That's all I can keep saying. Just think about it. It's He just took it and sucked it up and dropped it in the bottle. <laughs> that is Cafe Beignet. All right. My next one is one that I just can't get enough of. Like, I, I really can't. When he came out with this one here, I I just was at, I was like, yeah, you hit it. Because I'm a Garmin lover, so the brownie points was chocolate. The uh, Cafe Beignet was was the the idea of the French quarters, right? And then you had that Bourbon Street that gave you like an old fashioned. So I needed something. I was like, okay, I just want to fill my collection up with something. Like I want to be able to wear Hez perfumes at any aspect of the season, at any time, right? And he did it. He did it with this one. This is. Caramel dessert. It's caramel, it's cinnamon, it's cacao, it's like a burnt caramel. It's the caramel, like the, like the caramel they use when they're making pralines. And then chocolate syrup. That is caramel elixir. <laughs> this is, God, it's like almost like you feel like you want to just eat it up. Like just, just, oh God, it's making me hungry. Caramel and cinnamon. Caramel, cinnamon, cacao, burnt caramel. Like, and I think the burnt caramel reminds me so much of pralines. So that's what I'm getting. Caramel elixir. If you're looking for a caramel fragrance. All right. So I want to kind of get into more drink-like fragrances. Because, I mean, you just can't really talk about New Orleans and not talk about drinks. Like right? some kind of drink. So we're going to talk about two kind of drink-filled fragrances. So this one here is Daiquiri Original. Daiquiri Original is a daiquiri. It's, it, it's just a daiquiri. It's orange, it's blueberry, it's uh, orange blossom, so it kind of gives you a bit of um, base to it. It's gin, rum, and cognac. So that's a daiquiri. It's the base of a, of a daiquiri. Uh, before it becomes the Hulk Hogan, before it becomes uh, the uh, grenade, or you know what I'm saying? Before it becomes all of those things. It's the base. That's why it's called daiquiri original. It's the base of the daiquiri, right? Before they start to make it into all the next things. That is this. So for like on a good... And I find that this works great in cool weather because it can project. In hot weather or warm weather, I find that Daiquiri Original is good, but it only lasts like maybe two, two, three hours, and then you can't really smell it, right? But if you take it on a cool, breezy night or where it's kind of, it's not too hot outside and you put on Daiquiri Original, oh, it's so good. It is so good. So for all of my citrus lovers, someone who just want a nice burst of sunshine, Daiquiri Original. Okay, so let's get into, you want the Daiquiri, but you want it to be like grown, right? You want some, 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 some stink to it, some alcohol to it, right? <laughs> you want some extra in it. Then you need to go with... Hurricane. Hurricane is, oh, it's the opening. It's the cherry. It's the cherry, the passion fruit, the pineapple, the orange. And you're thinking, oh my God, this is going to just be a fruity fragrance, right? No. Then it's going to go into this rum and cognac and gin. Oh, but you can smell the cherry. You can smell the cherry in this. <laughs> God, you can smell the cherry. Mmm, this is good. Hurricane. Hurricane. 
hurricane. There's so many things that you could put with hurricane. In my mind, that's what I'm thinking of. So many things you could put with hurricane. I'm going to give you another bonus. You could do hurricane with Bourbon Street. Great. You could take hurricane and add it with brown brownie points. Give it more a chocolate note, right? So take that cherry and that passion fruit and pineapple and give it some chocolate brownie points. You just want to be more into, like, say, caramel and fruitiness. Caramel elixir. This is a line that if you buy, say, two or three from this line, you can layer it back and forth if layering is your thing. Or you can wear it all by yourself. Hurricane with that cherry uh, passion fruit opening is great. It's great by yourself. Hurricane. Okay, we have come upon another one that is my favorite. Oh my God, this is my favorite. If I had to put out a recommendation uh, to what to start off with under his perfumes, then I'm going to tell you to start off with. Plum Confixture. Plum Confixture is... Plum, nutmeg, honey, tobacco, cinnamon, and then there's like this powderiness in it, like almost like a, oh, like a, it doesn't say that it has iris, but I kind of feel like it does. It has a bit of a powdery cleanness to it, but that plum and the nutmeg and the cinnamon gives you the spiciness that you need. Plum confixture on my skin works like a dream. Like, I get so many compliments with this one. And it's so original. It's, it's not anything that you can say that this will remind you of. Like, um, you might say plum Japanese with a little powdery note. You could even say plum cognac with just a little less cognac. So if you are familiar with any of those fragrances, right? Plum Cognac is from Scent of Woods. Uh, Plum Japanese is a discontinued fragrance from Tom Ford. And that plum note, which I brought those up is because it's the plum note that I want you to, to identify. And just add a bit of powderness on it. Freshness, cleanness. Plum Confixture. That's, that's what this is. Okay. Before we get to the new one, and if you made it this far, I greatly appreciate uh, that you have made it this far. I want you to put up the Floderice, which is the signal or the little uh, logo of New Orleans. And that lets me know that you have made it this far, right? Um, this is, this is, oh, before I tell you what it is, let me tell you the name. The name of this one is. Jungle Juice is a drink where every known liquor is in it. That's why they call it Jungle Juice, right? So they take and they start off with a bit of uh, fruitiness. Like, you know, you might have uh, a Tropicana. You might have something sweet, right? Because you want to you put that, you're going to put a lot of alcohol in this, right? So you, you want to start off with something sweet. So that's Jungle Juice. So if you went to college, have been to a college function, have went to Freaknik, I know I'm aging myself, <laughs> but went to Freaknik, then you know what Jungle Juice is, right? But that is, but in here is blueberry, pineapple, black currant. So that's your fruity drink that's at the top, right? And then add in everything, every liquor you can dream of. Rum, cognac, gin, like all of that. And then top it off to keep it sweet with a little honey. And then just when you think that you know enough about this fragrance, comes in the tobacco. Jungle juice. And jungle juice is a drink that is mixed with a lot of different uh, drinks and liqueurs and everything. Jungle juice. So this is a fragrance that will give you that. The fragrance that is not 
linear. It's not a fragrance that's like, oh, this is just fruity or this is uh, spicy or smoky or whatever. This is whatever you need it to be on the day you need it to be. If you wear it at night, it is is sexy. If you're wearing it during the day, then it's um, inviting. If you're wearing it on a cold day, then you're going to get a lot of the of fruitiness opening with a bit of sweetness. If you're wearing it in the summer, you are the, the scent that everyone is trying to find because you're just projecting off your skin. Jungle juice. All right. We have made it to the new one that has come out. I have not even taken it out the box because I wanted y'all to get the first view of it. Do you see it? Ah, it is beautiful. It is called Muse. Muse, and I haven't even smelt it. So this would be us smelling it together. Muse is Mardi Gras. It's Mardi Gras. It's the, it's the mass. It's everything that is Mardi Gras. It's the beads. It's the environment. It is uh, everything that makes New Orleans fun, right? That's when I think of Muse. Okay. I'm getting lemon. I'm getting like a, a floral note. That must be the hibiscus that's in it. But it's fresh. It's really fresh. It's a very, it's a fresh airiness to it. Okay, so what are the notes? The notes is lemon, red apple, pear, hibiscus, marina, and sandalwood. Let me put this one on. Because on this card, I don't think that it really gave it what it was supposed to give. Oh, this is clean. Oh, this is a fresh out the shower with. Oh, this is nice. It's nice. Um, the hibiscus in it, you have to like a bit of floral. Particularly, you have to like hibiscus, right? So if you know what that that flower smells like, it's very heavy on that. But then it's like an airy ozone freshness to it. Almost like you would think that you would wear this one when you're going on a boat ride. Like say you take a cruise and you're going out to sea and this will radiate off your skin. This is very unisex. This is another one I think that I'm going to love on my husband because of the more marine and um, ozone sandalwood. The sandalwood is not creamy. The sandalwood is more woodiness to it. Yeah, like, like this is nice. This is really nice. I am very impressed. So this was a true first impression because I did not spray this one. I did not take it off the box. I wanted to do this on video. The lemon is lemon in it. So if you like any of those notes, if those notes are attractive to you, then try try Muse. I think right now you only can pre-order it, uh, but I wanna say it's a discount on it. And of course, always in the description is a link directly to the page, right? So you can get any of the ones that I talked about. Uh, hope you do try them out. Muse is good, right? But again, just to give you something to look out for, if I had to pick my favorites, uh, Plum Confixture, uh, uh, Brownie Points, because I have to have something to layer, Banana Bread Banshee. <laughs> this one is so good. Uh, Cafe Beignet because it just reminds me it just reminds me so much of home and to top it all off I think I have to go with it's a tie Caramel Elixir or Bourbon Street Bourbon, Bourbon Street is OG right I say start off with these two start off with these two because you'll get more you, you'll get a liqueur and you get a caramel, and then this is the one that you can blend. Or get all the ones I talked about. 
It's very affordable. I love the line. I love the work that he is doing. And I really think you ought to try it. All right. If you have enjoyed this video, which I really hope you have, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me of all the ones that I talked about, which one is are you interested in? Which one would you love to know more about? Uh, if you want me to do an individual video, maybe on Instagram or something, I can do an individual video on, on any one of them that you want to hear a little bit more about. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed it because I do enjoy doing these videos with you. And on that note, I'm going to see you in the next video.